Namaste and good evening all the SEE students. I am Ganga Dalhara from Mehda School, Bhaktapur. Now we all are in the lockdown due to the catastrophe and pandemic coronavirus. So this online class is specially designed for Bhaktapur municipality in order to assist the yes. EE students by making them remind, revise, update, and prepare for the upcoming yes, EE. Dear student, today I'm talking to you about uh, guided writing type 1. Under this topic, today we discuss writing obligation and prohibition. Writing obligation and prohibition is also said and prohibition is also said writing rules and regulations okay let's go to these two words obligation and prohibition what's the meaning of obligation obligation is said an act or course of action to which a person is morally or legally bound or it is a duty of a person or a commitment to do things. It means obligation is the conditions of being morally or legally bound to do something. So, obligation means we are allowed to do things. Okay, let's take some examples of obligation. Students must be in their school uniforms and it's a uh, mandatory of the school and it's a rule of the school that the students must wear their school uniforms this is the rule or this is the condition by law the next example is we should stay at home during lockdown. This means we cannot go out of our houses during the lockdown period and is a mandatory by law. So obligation means the things that we have to do in a certain condition or in certain places. The students, let's go to the another word, prohibition. What is prohibition? Prohibition is an action of forbidding something specially by law. It is the conditions of preventing of doing something by law. It means we are not allowed to do things. In other words, we should understand prohibition as the negation of obligation. Okay, let's take some examples. The first example is students must not be in out dresses and it's a prohibition that students cannot go to school in their out dresses they must be in their school uniform it's a mandatory by law similarly next example we are not allowed to come out of home during the lockdown so it's a prohibition we cannot come out and this is the rule applied by the government so this is a rule by law a condition by law okay uh, let's talk about uh, writing rules and regulations as for the specification grid of cdc obligation and prohibition is also called rules and regulations i've already told you this as for the SC examination specification grid of compulsory English designed by CDC, writing rules and regulations or obligation and prohibition is asked under the type 1 guided writing. This question is asked for five marks. Some guidelines or hints or outlines related to the topic are given. Students must follow the given outlines straightly. Generally, this question is asked to write a set of five rules and regulations. One mark is awarded to each sentence which is meaningful 
and grammatically correct and appropriate to the given situation. Dear students, now we have talked about the obligation and prohibitions and rules and regulations or writing rules and regulations and the provisions of writing rules and regulations in the specification grades. Now we have to use some certain verb structure or the sentence structures to write or to express obligation and prohibition or to express rules and regulations. Now we are going to talk about the structures. Okay, let's start. The first structure, structure A, is must or must not plus verb. And it's example, students must be regular to school. And it's the rule of the school. Now here the structure must plus B1 is used here. Next example, they must not be irregular to school. And this is also another rule of the school. That means the students must be regular. And now here we have must plus V1 in these two sentences. The second structure is can or cannot plus verb. Okay, let's take this example. Students can ask any relevant questions to the teachers. And this means students are allowed to ask questions to the teachers if they are relevant to their topic. And now in this sentence, we have the sentence structure can plus V1. Okay, let's take another example. They cannot eat anything during the class time. And now here cannot plus V1. And they cannot eat anything during the class time. And it's a, a prohibition order. And it's a rule. And that the students cannot do during the class time. Should or should not plus V1. Let's take example of this structure. Pedestrians should not cross the road anywhere. And this means pedestrians cannot cross the road from the place or from anywhere they like. And they should cross the road from a certain place or certain part of the road. And now here the structure is should not plus V1. Now the next example, they should use the zebra crossing. And is the rule of the road while walking along the road. It's the traffic rule. And they should use the zebra crossing. And now the structure is should plus V1. Okay, next structure. This structure have to or do not have to plus V1. Let's take the example. Everyone has to obey the certain rules of places. And we have to follow the rules of certain places. And this is the obligation. The structure is have to plus V1. Has is used here because everyone takes singular verb. And so this has is done here. Has to plus V1 means the structure is have to plus V1. Let's take another example. Children under 10 do not have to take tickets to enter the zoo. And it's one of the rules of the zoo that the children under 10 can enter the zoo without buying tickets. And now here the structure is do not have to take, do not have to plus V1. And this is negative and is the prohibition. And the next is need to or to or require to plus verb. Let's take an example. Teachers need to follow the timetable of the school. And the teachers must also be in some certain disciplines. And so, and they need to follow the timetable and it's the rule of the school. And now here the structure is need to plus V1 there. Need to follow 
means need to plus B1. Another example, students ought to do assignments and is the common rule of each and every school and the students are given assignments and they have to do. And now here the structure uses ought to plus do that is ought to plus V1. Okay, let's take another structure F that is each MR or each MR not allowed to verb. So this structure can be used in positive and negative and each MR plus allowed to verb is positive. Each MR not uh, allowed to is negative. Okay, let's take an example. Students are allowed to borrow books from the library. This means students can borrow books from the library and is the rule of this school. The structure used here is are allowed to plus V1. Similarly, next example, we are not allowed to borrow three books with a card. This means one can borrow two books at a time, not three books at a time or with a card. The sentence structure is are not allowed to borrow, are not allowed to plus V1. Okay, dear students, let's take Another sentence structure Z is M R forbidden or prohibited or restricted or banned to bar. This is the negative in meaning and in the passive form. Let's take an example. Visitors are forbidden to give food to the animal. Maybe and is a rule of the Jew. The visitors who visit the Jew cannot give food to the animals and it's uh, a rule. This structure using this sentence is are forbidden to give, are forbidden to plus V1. The next example is, one is prohibited to drop litter anywhere inside the Jew. And now this is the another rule. So no one can drop litters anywhere inside the Jew they like. And rubbish are disposed in or certain or demarcated places only. This rule is written in the Jew and so this is the another rule. These two sentences are in the passive form and is prohibited to drop is the structure here, sentence structure or the verb structure and is prohibited 2 plus V1. Yeah. Okay, dear students, let's uh, take uh, another common structure, and that is structure H. Each M R expected or permitted or obliged or supposed to plus bar. Structure Z is in the negative form, so this is used to give the negative meaning, and but this, this structure H is the positive one. Let's take example here. Pedestrians are expected to walk along the footpath. That means and they can walk along the footpath and not along the road or they cannot use the, the busy road. The sentence structure or the verb structures used here is are expected to walk. This is are expected to plus V1. The, another example Visitors are supposed to take off their suit outside the door. Yes, of course, and in some places, and please take off your suits here is written, and that is the rule of some places. So they cannot to go into the room or places in their suit, and so this is the another rules that the visitors are supposed to take off their suit outside the door. The structure is are supposed to take off. The structure is are supposed to plus V1. And the one more example under this structure, students are obliged to carry their required things with them. And the students can carry their needed things with them. And so this is the another rules maybe and the sitting in the exam hall. The structure is our average two plus V1. The students and the less uh, one more verb structures again. That is zero. Zero means ing form. And when ing is added to the best form of the verb and is called the zero. And zero can also be used as the subset in a sentence. The structure is EGMR or EGMR not allowed or permitted. So this is the another structure. Okay, let's take uh, 
examples, coming out of home is not allowed during the lockdown. So it's uh, mandatory. The government has uh, brought uh, these uh, laws into practice that uh, no one can come out of their houses during the lockdown period and the structure used here is not allowed and is plus or is not plus above three that is allowed there. The another example is speaking Nepali is forbidden in the English class and this is the another rule of the English class or the rule of a school that no one can speak Nepali while the English class is going on. And the structure is is forbidden here. Is plus forbidden there. Okay, let's take one more example. Breaking of any school premises is not permitted. And this means no one can break or damage the properties or the school's properties. So this is the rule. So no one can do that and no one is allowed to break or damage the school properties. The students and now just uh, we have just taken the some commonly used verb structures or the sentence structures and their examples in context also. And now we have to consider the flowing things while writing the rules and regulations. No, students are advised to use the different sentence structures while writing a set of rules and regulations. Now, here and we have talked uh, about uh, 10 different sentence structures. And if we write 10 sentences about rules and regulations of a place, we should use the different sentence structures in our writing you know, as far as possible. And applying the single sentence structure does not sound good and it is uh, or it will be less impressive to the examiner. I advise you all the students to use the different structures in different sentences while writing a set of rules and regulations. Dear students, and now let's take some examples of writing rules and regulations of certain places. Remember, when we write a set of rules and regulations, don't forget to write the headline or the title of your writing, like the rules and regulations of the examination hall. And again, one more thing that we have to consider that uh, it will be better if we have a cover sentence before the rules and regulations. The cover sentence are written in different styles of the sentence structures. And now the one is this, and all the examiners must obey the flowing rules and regulation while sitting in the examination hall. And it's a cover sentence. And then and then we start our job here. Okay, let's take the example of the rules and regulation. The first one is examiners must carry their admission cards and all the necessary instruments with them. Yes, and this is the rule of the examination and the structure used here is must plus v1 must carry the second possible rule may be they are obliged to take their seats as the seat plan and this means the examiners should take the seat where their number are tested examiners cannot choose their seats as they like structure is are obliged to take and Next rule, they are not allowed to keep books and notebooks with them. And is the another rule is thus, are not allowed to plus V1. Keeping books and notebooks with them is not uh, allowed, is uh, strictly banned. Yeah. And now here, uh, in these three sentences, we have used the different structures here, must carry, are of list to take, are not allowed to keep, and now the fourth one, they are strictly prohibited to make a noise. 
this is the another rules and here the structure is r plus prohibited so in these four sentences and we have used the four different structures and like this and and if it is possible we will go on using the different sentence structures okay let's add some more rules and regulations Talking to net boring examinees is forbidden. Here the another structure, Gironde plus is plus forbidden. And the next one, they should ask the invigilator for additional answer seats if necessary. This means the examinees can add uh, additional answer seats if uh, they need, but uh, they have to ask the invigilator. And now they use the structure is suit plus B. Next uh, rule is they can cannot leave their seats before the first hour of the examination. Examinees cannot leave their seats before passing the first one hour. So they can leave their seats or they can go to the toilet only after passing one hour. This means cannot leave and this is the structure used here. Next example is making attendance of each and every examinee is compulsory so making your attendance in the examination is compulsory and is a mandatory yeah and now here so and is the another structure again and the which we have not mentioned uh, before and next uh, one more rule is that the examiners must submit their answer seats before leaving their seats no one can leave their seats no one can go away from the examination hall without submitting their answer seats. And if and the one does not submit the answer seat, and they will be expelled from the exam or the exam will be cancelled. And so, and is the another most important rule of the examinations. And now here, the structure is must plus V1. I think and we have written the nine different rules and regulations uh, of the examinations whole and the using the different verb structures as uh, far as possible. And uh, now in the examination and uh, and no need to write the nine rules and regulations and the, but uh, you will be asked uh, to write uh, a set of five rules and regulations on. Dear students, let's take one more example of writing rules and regulations and so that and it will be and the more effective for you to understand. Okay, and the another rules and regulations are each of the library. Okay, the rules and regulations of the library. And this is the title of our writing also. Now here again, as in the previous example, and we write the a cover sentence here and the cover sentence and like the following are the rules and regulations that are to, to be cultivated by the visitors in the library. Then we start the rules and regulations. Let's start. The first rule, each and every member must carry their membership cards with them. And this means, and though no one can enter the library without membership card, and they must have their card with them. And the structure used here is must plus V1, must carry. Another rule, no one can take bags with them. And this means the bags are not allowed inside the library. And the structure used here, can plus B1 can take. Another rule is everyone should entry the names of the visitors book. While going into the library, one should do registrations there in the registration book. And this is the another rule. And now here the structure is suit plus B1 should into it. Next uh, possible rule is one is allowed to book two books at a time. That means members can borrow two books with a card at a time. The structure used here is is allowed two plus V1 is allowed to borrow. Another rule is borrowing books from the reference department is not allowed. This means I think and there are 
generally two departments and the one is the books uh, borrowing department and other is only the reference department and no one is allowed to borrow books from the reference department and just they can study the books staying or sitting in the library and so they are not allowed to borrow the books from the reference department and the structure used here in this sentence is Gironde plus is not allowed and the borrowing is Gironde here so borrowing books and it takes the singular verb is is there another rule is every member is obliged to circular the books in time and that means and the members are requested to return their books in time and so that books can be circulated to all the members here yeah, quickly and so many more people can go to the books you know, in time or in a certain time this means and the structure is is always to circular and is always to plus v1 okay another rule uh, is tearing or damaging books is strictly prohibited and again in this sentence and the tearing or damaging and is the gironde and the gironde plus is prohibited is the structure here and tearing or damaging books is strictly prohibited okay let's uh, add some of the possible rules here of the library and the members must pay the cost of the volumes in case they are damaged or lost and if the books are damaged or lost and the members have to pay the cost of the books this is another rule of the library and the structure used here is must plus v1 the other rule is all the visitors are supposed to keep silence in the library this is one of the most important the conditions of the library and so library must be silence and there must be silence in the library and all the visitors are supposed to keep are supposed to plus keep or two plus b1 and this is the structure okay and the let's add the one more related rules of the library here again all the members are encouraged to renew their membership in time every year. The structures use the structure is are encouraged to plus verb that is are encouraged to renew. And this means the members have to renew their membership every year. Dear students, now let's take the one example from the SEE questions and the, which was asked uh, uh, last year in 2075 SEE and this question is asked uh, in set uh, RE-010 CP and the question goes like this write a set of five rules and regulations to be followed in the school by the students using the clues given below five is given there and this five indicates the weightage of this question is five marks and the clues are given uh, below these questions the clues are our arrival time 9 30 one clue wear uniform second clue obey teachers third clue do not fight fourth clue and the bridge of school property and this is the fifth clue i haven't given you these clues from my side and this is given in the question paper and now we have to follow this clues strictly and we will develop one sentence from each clues using appropriate sentence structures and which we have just discussed about okay let's start to write the our work and the first uh, don't forget to give the title of our write what should be an appropriate title to our writing and it may be school rules and regulations students and what to write next to this yes and the second one is that the cover sentence the cover sentence is the rules and regulations which are to be followed by all the students in the school are given below and this is the a little bit different from the previous sentence and now let's start the 
rules and regulations. All the students must arrive at school till 9.30 a.m. So, and this sentence is developed from the clue arrival time 9.30. Now the second clue is wear uniform. Okay, let's write the sentence using this clue. They cannot come to school in out dresses. They means the students, all the students. They cannot come to school in out dresses. They should be in the school uniform and is compulsory and is the rule of the school. Another clue is over teachers. Okay, let's write the sentence. Now we have written the three sentences or the three rules using the given clues and we have used here different verb structures in a rule a so we have used must arrive in b cannot come and in c and is strictly discourages and another one more is that are supposed to obey also here and the three different sentences have the different different of structures here okay let's add another one and what is the clue word do not fight okay let's use this do not fight here fighting with all the students is strictly prohibited so this is the another structure that is Ron is there fighting that is the ing form fighting with all the students is strictly prohibited and is is used here and the, when the Ron uh, form is used as the subset generally it takes singular word so is is used here fighting with all the students is strictly prohibited then the final sentence now we have to write here and we have only one clue is that is the bridge of school property okay let's write this another school rule students are expected to love and preach of the school properties yeah and so this is the rules and if the students destroy or damage the school properties and they will be penalized. So in the polite form, and it is say, and in the uh, formal form, and is this are expected to love and preach of the school properties. These students, and these are the three different examples we have done here about the different places. Now, I hope and you have understood a little bit about writing rules and regulations. I hope and you will practice staying at your home. So, dear student, and it's the time to leave some homework for you. And the homework, let's write a set of five rules and regulations that have to be cultivated in the following places. And the places are like in the zoo, in the museum, in the public park, in the temple, in the hotel, while walking along the road. Okay, students, and the teachers, your homework. Dear students, all these are for today's class. Thank you very much. Next time, I will come to you with uh, another lesson. Till then, bye-bye and namaste.